summarizing data. An aggregate query lets you determine statistics for a set of values. For example, you can determine the sum, average, and count. An aggregate query is also known as a summary query or a totals query. As with most things in Access, the best way to learn is by seeing it done and doing it yourself. That said, open the query that you created with two tables in it, which was titled Books and Orders or something similar. Make sure you go to Design View. You can then resize the tables to make them more readable and show all the fields. We already have our relationships established between the two tables that we've used. On the Design tab, look for the Greek looking E in the Show or Hide group, labelled Totals. This adds a total row on the bottom half of your query, as you can see here. Now let's look at the data sheet view of this query. What we want to do is count the number of countries each book has been sent to. But instead of seeing multiple listings for each book, we only want to see one. Let's go back into Design View to do this. Remember, we've already clicked on the Greek looking E. If you haven't done that, you need to click on it when you get to Design View. We need to remove some columns. We need to remove the order ID and the order date columns, as they're not needed in our query and will cause the results not to display correctly. To remove these columns, select these two columns, and then click Delete Columns in the Query Setup group on the Design tab. Now, because we want to count the destination country, we want to group by count. Go to the destination country column, which is here, and click on the downward arrow next to the group by value, and choose count. All the other values should be set to group by. Now we can click run to run the query. The results are shown here. As you can see, both orders for a death in Belmont have been collapsed or grouped into a single row. And the count of destination country field has a value of 2, as there are two countries that have ordered the book. Now let's learn how to group records and data sheet view. Let's open up the books and prices query. As you can see, it only has a few of the records. This is probably because we have some criteria from an earlier lesson. For this query to work properly, we need to remove that criteria. Go to Design View, and in the Criteria fields, remove the values that you have in there. Then click on the View Data Sheet button, or click on Run. Now on the Home tab in the Records group, click on Totals. You now see the row added that says Totals. If you click the empty cell in the Price column, a drop down will appear. Choose Sum. You can now see how it summed up the total cost of all the books. To group by criteria, go to the Design view for a table or query and add the Totals row. Click on the Totals button at the top here. Now, in this example, in the Price column, change the value of Group by by clicking on the drop down button and then selecting Where. You'll then have to enter a where statement in the criteria box. You might say that you want to show the author of a book where the price is under $10. To do that, type in less than 10 and press enter. Now click on the run query button. As you can see, the price field is no longer showing. This is because we have set the total to where instead of group by. To keep the price field visible, you can add another instance of the price column. You can either select the price column from the drop down box on the field row here, or you can drag it from the table at the top of the screen. Open the data sheet view, or click run to see how the results have changed. The query now shows the author, the title and the price for all books less than $10, and the total row, which is a different total from the previous query. To group by calculated fields, Choose Expression from the Group By drop-down menu. If you do this, you can specify the total type as an expression. <laughs>